Hello, my name is Brooke. This is Dace. Welcome back. If you're new here, you want to know that we just spent a year being homeless living in our car. We have started a series of all things homelessness where this is a safe place for you to come and ask for some input. Today we're going to be talking about the five accessories that you should be having if you're going to be living in your car. The number one first thing that I'm going to recommend 100% is a portable jackery. Let me show you what that looks like. This is the portable jackery where it has all the outlets that you can need if you're going to be living in your car. It has a maximum of a 200 watt. This is a lifesaver. Fortunately, this was a gift. It is a little bit spinny, but if you have the means to get one, I 100% recommend. In order to charge it, you can do it in your car as long as your car outlet has a maximum of a 200 watt or else you're going to blow the fuse in your car. Otherwise, you can charge it any outlet, go to a Starbucks. If you have the ability to stay in a hotel for a night, I would suggest charging it then. Or even better and best yet, if you have a job where you have an outlet accessible, charge it while you're working. This is what it looks like. It's super compact. It can fit anywhere in your car. This thing was seriously a lifesaver and if I had known about this sooner, I would have most definitely had my hands on it. Second thing I recommend, in the winter at least, is a small heating pad. This is what mine looked like. I just picked it up at Walgreens and guess what? I can plug it in to my portable jackery and it would work wonderfully. Super small, super compact. Like I said, I got this from Walgreens for like $20 or get you some hand warmers where they're even more compact and you can put them in your glove box. Number three is a front seat car organizer. It's still in my car, so I'm not able to show you right now, but it is linked right here. Just like one of those back seat organizers for your children. If you have children, you know what I'm talking about, but reverse it and put it in your front seat. I put all of my essentials in there, my lotion, my perfume, my chargers, my bug spray, bug bracelets, my hairbrush, my flashlight. Like I put all of the essentials in the front seat car organizer along with the front seat car organizer that sits directly on the seat. Here is where I put my jackery and my heating pad. I put more essentials down there where it was kept all organized and I didn't have to worry about anything spilling or looking cluttery. Number four, I would suggest just about anybody, it is the window shield cover, also known as the sunshade. This I would use when we were sleeping or when I was changing. Fortunately, my windows are already tinted, so I didn't have to worry about putting up other window coverings in order for us to go to sleep or when I needed to change. The window coverings you can also find here. Personally, like I said, I never use them, but I 100% recommend those too if you're going to be living in your car and you don't have tinted windows. Number five is in my car and it is to stay in my car. It is the Everstart Roadside Kit. I'm going to be honest, I don't remember everything that was in this thing, but I know that I felt way more safe having this in my car versus not having this in my car, just in case something were to happen, because anything can happen, and you never know when bad things will occur. So let me just go Google that really quick. <laughs> okay, it has quite a bit of stuff in here, one including a 10 gauge booster cable with rubber sized hand grips and copper coated clamps, a 5-in-1 light designed for a handheld flashlight, roadside warning light flare, it comes with an adjustable elastic strap for use as a headlamp, a wearable personal safety light, and it has a magnetized base to attach to the vehicle for use as a work light area and batteries are included. An emergency power bank with replaceable batteries with a 10 year shelf life, which will still charge your cell phone. Oh, I did not know that. A pair of knit gloves, a blanket for warmth and to treat shock, a rain poncho, 50 piece first aid kit, a handy pocket manual with quick reference safety and maintenance tips, and includes a QR code which will direct you to online sources for safe driving. And it includes a registration card. So, if anything were to happen, like a natural disaster, or you get stuck on literally the side of the road, or you're in the middle of nowhere and there's no one to be seen, Get yourself a roadside kit. I just recommend this. I never obviously had to use it, but I knew that if I didn't have it, that would be the time that I wish I had had it, right? Because that's how life works. Quite frankly, that is all that I have for this video for you guys. I hope this helped. Let me know if any of these tips and tricks helped you. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. There are going to be more tips and tricks coming out soon, especially with more accessories that I would suggest having if you're going to be living in your car. So be on the lookout for those videos. On another note, thanks so much for watching. We love you and we will see you in the next video.